quick recap of my blog post iOS jailbreak detection in 2023. Jailbreaking a device leads to the situation that the sandbox restrictions normally imposed by the iOS system is no longer there anymore. Um, stakeholders of enterprise apps and in general people with apps with sensitive or valuable data um, are worried about this, that this will increase the attack vector of stealing information. Um, there are various forms of jailbreak detection methods um, checking if um, certain files are existing or missing, uh, API-based detection, open SSH service detection. Um, there is a wonderful open source, well-maintained library uh, in reusable as a Swift package, which you can find on GitHub. And it's uh, very easy. It's just a single static method call which returns if the device is jailbroken or not. And if you want to have further information, uh, what kind of checks were triggered so that the library assumes that the device is jailbroken, uh, you can use this more verbose API, which, re which will return uh, also the uh, messages reported. Um, however, jailbreak detection there's always another player and there are and these are popular iOS jailbreak detection bypass tweaks or little programs which try to hoodwink uh, your jailbreak detection. Uh, there's a bypass, not a bypass, shadow and others. Uh, follow the link for more information. And um, those work pretty good, but common bypass tweaks often do not work on specific apps. Uh, and attackers might still need to find great or use bypasses made specifically for a certain app. Uh, so I have verified this open source implementation against popular um, bypass tweaks and the jailbreak detection implementation was still able to figure out that my device was jailbroken. So um, you have to consider the ongoing costs because you don't just implement that once and forget about this. You have to do your research, update your detection implementation. Um, is it worth it? You have to decide. Um, now in February 2023, the latest release is iOS 16, well, which has a market share of 64%. and look only 10 out of 46 devices compatible with iOS 16 can be jailbroken so that's a small amount of number um, there's only one known uh, jailbreak available which um, which will still be there for older devices because it's based on an unpatchable exploit in the boot RAM of the Apple chips and um, there is an alternative it's not jailbreak detection but Apple introduced the app test framework in iOS 14 as part of the device check framework, which aims to reduce fraud. Um, but again, all these things can be circumvented with enough efforts from an attacker. So uh, choose wisely if you want to implement jailbreak detection or not.